I'm Literal Lion, and I'm gonna talk about this Kigurumi. Oh boy, this Kigu. Okay, so, uh, as plenty of you know, because most of you are probably from Furry Amino, this Kigu was featured today. I was in class when it happened, and when I got out, everything was crazy, and I was suddenly very, very, very busy. Anyways, I have a lot to say about this Kigu. This is Kevin. Many of you may recognize him. It's a very notable and exciting design from a very notable and exciting user of Furry Amino. I didn't actually know how widespread known Kevin was until the post got featured, and everybody was commenting like, Oh, Kevin got a Kigu? And I was like, Oh. Okay, I guess Kevin's famous. Anyways, this Kigu took me actually a billion jillion years, like longer than any Kigu I've ever worked on before, and it's obviously because of all those stripes. Uh, I want to talk about the stripes, actually. I do get, like, uh, like a relative amount of comments saying, like, oh, you shouldn't take commissions if you're using glue, you know, because you shouldn't, someone shouldn't pay for glue, but let me tell you, these, first of all, look awesome. I cannot sew embroider, so I could not get these tiny, well these are not that tiny, I could not get these on with a sewing machine because I am not talented enough for that. Uh, these stripes here are sewn on and like, look at them. They're like, just, everything's wrong, everything's wrong. I, I'm not very good at sewing intricate things, I'm good at sewing big things. Like a Kigu. I, I can't sell tiny little lines. I'm not talented enough. I don't have that kind of skill set. I, I just don't. So I usually don't take uh, really complicated commissions like this one, but I, I was new when I took it, so I was like, I'll take anything I can get. Now that I'm a little more widely, you know, taken for the Kigu commissions, I, I think I'll try to restrict myself from this kind of thing because it is a little outside of my skill set unless you're okay with the glue. So I did underpriced this quite a lot because I knew I was just going to be using glue. Uh, so this one went for 175 and for 40 or even maybe even 50 hours of work, I mean obviously that's not a lot because I did spend, you know, <laughs> a, a lot on materials for this one. So really that I did make a lot at all. But I, I know that I have to make these kind of sacrifices when I'm first starting out. So for $175, and I think that the glue, there's value there, even though it is... Like, okay, let me tell you. I have never had glue, glued on pieces come off of a Kiku unless you're, like, actively on there trying to pry them off. And even then, like, the, the fleece rips before the glue rips off. Because when you glue fleece, it binds together really really well so really it would take it would take a lot to get the glued on pieces off of this kiku and like i don't go i don't go small with the glue i go big like the glue is re <laughs> let me just it's really 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 on there like it's never coming off and i think that's just the way to go for me if if you have an intricate design like most kigus i don't glue things on them but if you have an intricate design and you're commissioning me and you don't want glue, you're gonna have to go to Lemon Brat or someone who will do it for no glue. So anyways, all that being said, in defense of glue. Glue. Another thing notable about this Kiku is I am so sorry, but I did not notice until it was pointed out to me a dozen times that this does, in fact, look like a watermelon. And I didn't, I did, had no idea when I put the black buttons on which look good in my opinion com contrasting with the black and like a, the black stripes it matches it looks good but it also looks like a watermelon and i'm so so sorry to kevin for making this look like a watermelon watermeloning aside this face is honestly my life also these ears they're cute i love them and these eyes this is crazy this nose is squishy i i love this and the alien oh I think, I think it came out good, uh, or well, it came out very well, um, there's this sort of white part that I thought about stuffing, but decided that it would just be too much, uh, it's a good Kigu, it's a good Kigu. Also, get a load of that tail, it's so long, I didn't mean to make it so long, it just, I just, uh, you know what, you know, it, that's just how, that's just how the cookie crumbles, sometimes you get a long tail, sometimes you get 
a regular tail. My tails are always really big. Even if I don't charge for them, I always make them really big. Just <laughs> something, something compels me. Like, unless you specify that you don't want your tail touching the ground, and the, if your reference image has your tail touching the ground, I'm gonna make your tail touch the ground. I just copy the reference image to the very, very best of my ability. Uh, well, anyways, that was the highlights of this queue. Uh, uh, there's two more queues in my queue. One is kind of sitting in a pile over there, but the color's wrong, so it's gonna take a while before I can get the color right. My next queue that I'm going to be working on is very special, so I'm going to probably be vlogging the process, maybe filming the whole thing even, and then you'll have even more insight as to how I do my key queues, because it's it's changed a lot since I did my first how to make a Kigi video. I might even uh, make an update kind of series to that, even though it was kind of recent. You know, I'm not the person I was a month ago. A uh, quick recap though, uh, there's glue. I don't normally put glue on my Kigus. If you don't have stripes or spots, you won't get glue on your Kigu. However, if you have stripes and spots, and you can't stand the idea of getting glue on your Kigu, and you want a cheap Kigu, I can't help you. Uh, you're, you probably just get nothing. Uh, you can go to some other Kigu maker because who's skilled with the embroidery, but it's not me. I mean, it, it's not that gluing on a, the stuff takes less time. It's not that it's like less time consuming because let me tell you, I've embroidered a little bit and it's, it's goes, it goes fairly quickly. It's just that I, it looks bad. I don't have the right equipment to embroider and it, I did the glue. It takes forever. Forever. It takes me a billion years to glue things on, but it just it looks better because of my skill set. Sorry, I know I'm beating the glue thing like a dead horse or whatever the saying is. I'm really bad at sayings, but I feel like it needs to be said in defense of glue. And also because if I send out a Kigu that's covered in glue and they don't know it's covered in glue and they gotta find out it's covered in glue when it gets there, like what if they're like a glue hater? Ha ha hashtag, hold on, well I can't, I don't have both hands, but hashtag just glue support crew. So I make it clear before someone commissions me that there's gonna be glue. There, there, enough said, I've done enough. I've beat the glue dead horse glue, I've done it. On a completely and utterly unrelated note, check these out. I play D&D in my spare time and I painted these miniatures and I love them. The wolf, is, well this character is a druid, I know they look like a wizard, but where they're from, dru druids are kind of like wizards. And this character is their wolf form, and it's glittery. Oh sorry, I'm just so proud, I made the hat. He's glittery, and I love him, and the character's name is Namir, whom I love. Anyways, these are my miniatures, and I love them, I worked hard on them. I just so unrelated, but I was very proud. So anyways, thanks so much for watching, I'm Literal Lion, and uh, please subscribe, um, I put out content occasionally, and um, I'll see you around!